This video has been presented by Ben's Garage. Please be sure to subscribe and like for more tutorials. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Ben from Ben's Garage, and today we're going to be looking at a pull starter. Uh, if your pull starter is not retracting line, or if it's just broken in general, uh, we can take it apart and repair it. So once you get it off the engine, and the, uh, the shroud that goes on the engine, you can put it on a table and you can flip it over, and it'll look something like this. This particular model has a bolt that's holding the actual wheel, and this is just a case. So uh, this is a 10 millimeter bolt, so we're just going to remove it. And uh, once it's removed, uh, you can go ahead and set it aside. The next thing that you want to do is you'll have a handle hanging out here. Uh, you want to cut that off so you can relieve tension in here so that the spring doesn't shoot at you. Uh, you can do that by just cutting the rope closest to the actual uh, handle. And once you get that, you can put it aside. So now we're into our wheel. Go ahead and you can lift up on it very carefully. And you'll notice that there is some type of spring located here or here. But in this particular model, it is located inside the actual wheel. Um, if your pull starter is not working, this would be the main cause. Uh, if it doesn't look like this, then you have an issue. To solve that, you can just go ahead and pull out the middle uh, bracket very gently and just pull it out. Slowly. And don't be alarmed, it'll shoot out like you at this because it does have tension no matter what. And then you can also pull the one end out from uh, the plastic or metal whichever your pull starter has. Now you want to inspect your spring. Anywhere in the middle to these areas, um, if it's not circular, then you have to bend it out with a pair of pliers. In this case, it looks circular. Um, these parts don't have to be circular uh, in here or out here, but just as long as the outside parts like in here are circular, then it is good and we can put it back in. If it is broken for any reason, uh, you can go to your local hardware store and pick up the spring that fits your pull starter. If it's also grimy and dirty, that could be causing it not to uh, tension. So you wanna get a paper towel and take off all of the heavy debris that's on there. So we're gonna put it back together. Uh, you wanna clip the, uh, the outside edge of the spring to the outside edge of the wheel. And once it's back into its original spot, you can go ahead and start twisting it and putting it back into the hole. Now once your spring is back in, we can go ahead and put it back onto the shroud. In this particular model, this little U-bracket uh, gets uh, locked into this edge, so it stops and when you keep twisting it adds more tension and this wheel wants to spin. So you want to hold it as hard as you can. Um, don't pull your rope with it, just keep it up so it doesn't uh, get caught around the wheel because this is eventually going to go inside this hole outside the shroud and we don't want to get any knots or anything like that tied up. All pool starters will have to, um, once you get them set into their correct thing uh, in their spot, you want to turn counterclockwise. Turning clockwise will destroy your spring, so you want to make sure you go counterclockwise while you're doing this procedure. You want to keep twisting until you can't go any farther. Then you know that um, it is complete.
Okay, so I reached my maximum point. I can't go any farther. So you want to hold down on this. So once you have your wheel tightened the whole entire way, oh, <laughs> sometimes it might slip. So you want to make sure you have a good grip on it. So now that I have a good grip, you want to tuck the rope back into the pulley. You can do this by getting a flathead screwdriver. Now what I like to do personally is uh, move my fingers around the rope so that there's no fray sticking out and then simply slide the end back into the hole. The hole of the pulley shroud. And once it's there, we can go ahead and pull, but not too tight though, because we have to tuck in this line. So with using a flathead screwdriver, I'm going to tuck in the line with the pulley. There we go. So very carefully, you want to place your hand over the wheel so it doesn't fly back out at you, or you can hold it. Uh, but very slowly and you want to hold the other part of the rope with your hand and it will retract the rope and once you get to the end uh, you want to make sure you give yourself a little room just in case if you uh, let it go and you want to put back on the bolt that covers uh, this area Okay, so once it's on there, uh, you can make sure you're holding this rope really tight. You can even pull out a little bit if you want to because now it's secure. And you want to get to your handle and you want to slide it back in to the rope. You want to make sure you have just a little bit sticking out so that you have enough to tie a knot. And you also want to pull a little bit. Make sure you pull so you know it's good and tight on there. And you can go ahead and let it go. Uh, to be a professional or to be a little bit cleaner with it, you can just go ahead and cut off the access rope. And now you have a working pull starter. And now you can put it back on to whatever you got it from, and it should start right up if there isn't any other problems. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, you can go ahead and subscribe and like to my channel, and I will definitely have some more tutorial videos for small engines. So please subscribe, like, and even comment if you have a question. And um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching.